Hi everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and today we are here to make this terrific little banana zipper pouch. And this pouch is perfect for storing your rotary cutters, pens and pencils, uh, all kinds of small things, but I made mine specifically for my rotary cutters. I thought it was the perfect choice. It's all zipper and a little bit of fabric, not much to it. So uh, we are gonna show you step by step how to make this terrific little banana shaped um, zipper pouch. But before we do, I'm gonna ask you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this uh, particular project because it is fun and it's functional. So let's get started. What do we need for this particular pouch? Not much. We need the pattern, which I will link to in the description section of the video. And we're going to need to cut from our pattern piece, an outer piece, a lining piece, and a piece of fusible fleece. The other thing, interestingly enough, is we are going to use one half of a zipper. And this zipper is going to be about 24 inches long. Now I have used a continuous zipper for this project, but you could get a 24 inch or longer uh, regular zipper and just cut off the ends and make sure that it ends up being up about 23 and 3 quarters to 24 inches long. It doesn't matter if it's a little longer because you can cut off the ends. And you're going to need the zipper pull. The one good thing about having a continuous zipper is you can have fun zipper pulls like this one that I got off of Etsy. Um, to substitute out for the kind of boring ones that come with the zippers. Um, these continuous zippers that I have uh, just came with red, you know, regular zippers, pulls that you get. But I kind of like to go a little fun uh, with this. I'm going to put a, a little star uh, on the end of mine. Uh, on this other one, I use this little circle. Um, but you can go with the regular zipper pull if you like. It's completely up to you. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to fuse some fleece to the outer fabric of our banana pouch. I've chosen this nice floral because I like flowers. Anybody that follows So Very Crafty, either on uh, YouTube or on the blog know that I love floral fabrics and I use them all the time. So we are going to place some fusible fleece on the wrong side of our outer fabric and you're going to notice if you're a beginner sewist that there is a smooth side to this fleece and a bumpy side. The bumpy side actually has glue and we're going to head over to the iron and we are going to just run a hot iron over the top of our outer fabric and that glue is going to melt and fuse into our fabric so that we can use this all as one and it's just going to add a little bit of structure to our little pouch here. So I'm going to run over and do that real quick and come right back. Okay, so I have fused my fleece onto my outer fabric. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this zipper. And again, we only need half of the zipper for this project. And we are going to place it so that the raw edge is on the raw edge of our outer fabric and we are going to take some pins and we are going to pin it.
And there you have it. We have our zipper pinned all the way around. Now we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch this zipper using our zipper foot all the way around. So let's head over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, we are here at the sewing machine and as you can see, we have our zipper foot on our machine and we are going to stitch this zipper. Let's turn this around. We are going to stitch this zipper in the center all the way around. There we have it. We have stitched our zipper all the way around and now I'm going to go over to the cutting table and I'm going to show you our next step. We are back and as you can see our pouch is sitting a little bit up so I'm going to take my small scissors and I'm just going to clip these curves a little bit around the edge, making sure not to clip the stitching so that this lays a little flatter for us for our next step. And as you can see as I'm going along here, it is laying a little flatter. And we're going to do this on both sides. There we go, that's nice and flat now. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to take our lining piece, we are going to place it on top of our zipper and our outer piece, and we are going to pin it together. And this is going to be made easier uh, because this is now flat for us. And we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to make another pass right around this edge to sew our lining to our zipper and our outer piece 
with our making sure our zipper is in between the two so it's like a zipper sandwich so let's head over to the sewing machine and let's run a stitch all the way around there and we'll come back to our next step okay we are back at the sewing machine with our lining pinned and once again we are going to make a pass around our zipper and you'll notice that my zipper foot is up against the zipper teeth, but my needle is in the center because that's where we want it to be. Typically, uh, when we're sewing a zipper, we want it to be a little bit to the left so that it's up close to the zipper teeth, but not for this particular project. We're going to sew right down the center. there we have it we have our lining sewn right around the edge and now we're going to head over and move on to our next step okay we are back and we have our lining and our zipper or and our outer piece sewn so we are now going to flip these right sides out and we will see that our zipper is where it should be. And so as our lining is nicely in place, The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go back over to the sewing machine and we are going to top stitch all the way around this zipper for a nice finished look. Uh, that way it just finishes nicely and um, makes sure that the lining does not catch in the, uh, in the zipper and it looks like a completed finished project. So let's go over and take care of that and we'll be back. Okay, we are back at the sewing machine and we are just going to top stitch all the way around and I have uh, gone ahead and left my zipper foot on for this, pro this process. I've also changed out my bobbin thread um, because I wanted, I've been using red to uh, stitch this project together and I wanted a red top stitch on this, um, but I don't want the red to go through to the bottom uh, of my lining because it is a teal color. So I'm just going, to, I changed out my bobbin to a teal color so that it would match. So let's just um, go ahead and top stitch all the way around this project.
Okay, there we have it. A nice top stitch and obviously we have the teal on the bottom so you can't really see it. Um, and we're ready to go to our next step. Now we are back and we have top stitched our pouch. The next thing that we need to do is to add our zipper pull. So I have my zipper pull and I am going to add it to my zipper. This can be a little fidgety of a project, so we are going to make sure our zipper is facing down. And we put both ends into the each side of the zipper. Hold on tight and hope for the best. It is fidgety. There we go. And it's on there and working perfectly. Once the zipper pull is on, we're going to flip this back to the wrong side. And we are going to stitch across the bottom with a straight stitch, clip off the, the ends because they're a little crooked and that just seems invariably to be what happens. And then we're going to zigzag stitch to uh, really secure those ends and we will then be finished with this project. So let's head over to the sewing machine and finish this up. Okay, we are back here at the sewing machine. We have our pouch, our zippers in the middle. As you can see, we are just going to change out our zipper foot. And we are going to stitch right across the bottom. Just like that. Now I'm going to trim off these I'm going to trim off these edges so that it's nice and neat and straight. I'm going to then switch my stitch to a zigzag stitch. On my machine your machine will likely be different so I won't show you how I'm doing this and I am simply going to zigzag along these raw edges There we have it. I have zigzagged along these raw edges so they are nice and neat. We're going to clip off these extra threads and we're going to head over to the cutting table. Okay, there we have it. We have the raw edges nice and neat. We are going to flip this back right sides out. And as you can see, we have a nice, neat end to our banana pouch. Just poke out these corners. You can use your finger for this. You don't need a tool. Zip it up. And you have a perfect little banana pouch to store whatever it is you want to store. I use mine for my rotary cutters and it works perfect. So there you have it. A nice beginner zipper pouch that anyone with basic sewing skills can make with a cool little zipper pull. 
I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and head over to www.soverycrafty.com for more sewing and crafting tutorials, and take a look at all my other video tutorials here at YouTube. And again, give me a thumbs up. Um, I hope you all stay safe, and I will see you next time for my next uh, video tutorial here on YouTube. Thanks, everybody. Bye.